Hey guys, so I realized I haven't uploaded a new video to this vlog channel in about a couple months, and I just didn't really have many ideas as to what I wanted to upload. However, I recently got a new iPhone and I thought I'd just share it with you here, um, let you guys see what it looks like, and if you're interested in a what's on my iPhone tag, an updated one, I have different apps, it's organized differently, so on and so forth, um, please thumbs up this video and I will definitely um, probably post that over on my beauty channel just because that's where my original one is and I would... Um, like to continue those things. So I had the iPhone 4S, I would show you that again, except I sold it to Verizon um, to get a little bit of money towards this iPhone 5S, and um, I actually got $210 uh, for my good condition 32 gigabyte iPhone 4S. Um, it was the white one, and if you want to see more about that, I do have the what's in my iPhone tag um, from maybe a year ago over on my beauty channel, and I'll link that below. But, um, yeah, so definitely look around for the be best price to sell your used iPhone, um, because I was going to go to gazelle.com for $165. I checked Apple, they were 151 and Verizon is having a special until the end of October for 210 so of course I sold it there, um, and that significantly helped pay for my new iPhone. <laughs> just a tip. So here is the new iPhone. Hello, a little bit of inception there. Um, so this is the iPhone 5S. It has the new home button um, where it doesn't have the square and it has the uh, thumbprint identification. Um, and I did get the gold one. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I definitely enjoy it more than my 4S. Um, so it is taller. The 4S, you could have the four rows of apps. This one you can have five. It definitely is lighter. Um, it's hard to explain, but it definitely is. And it also is thinner. Definitely thinner. Um, I don't know if you can really tell. I'm sorry. Um, I would have filmed this before I sold the iPhone, but I had to get it over with. Um, and I would have compared. But just take my word for it. It's thinner and lighter. Um, it's definitely faster, but of course it's a new phone, so any new phone would be faster in the beginning. I haven't noticed the battery life being so much better. The first day I thought it was, but then I got to using it like I normally would, and I'm still charging it once per day, at least. Um, and that's with the battery getting under 20%. I don't like to overcharge it, I think it's a waste. Um, you know, I know it's going to last until it dies, so I usually wait to charge it until it's under 20%, um, and I just charge it at night, so then I have it for the full day the next day. However, it is faster because Instagram, I've noticed, right when I open it, it's already loaded. Everything's refreshed, whereas my other one would take kind of a few seconds to refresh and find all the new pictures. Uh, same with Facebook. Um, my mail is coming to my phone a little bit faster, I believe and things like the weather app, you know, whatever you have, it's just, it loads faster. Um, I use Diptych, the app for collages for pictures, and that saves a lot faster, which is nice. This does have the, um, like, dual flash, and if you notice, one is kind of whiter and one is pinker, and I guess that has to do with balancing out, you know, the colors and everything. Um, it is still a very bright flash, so if you are taking a picture and you're the one looking at it, and it flashes, you're still going to see the white spots and it's kind of going to make you go cuckoo, but um, I think it does make the pictures look a lot better. However, I have noticed that sometimes it takes a while to take the picture um, because the flash like stays on and I guess focuses and then it flashes and then it takes the picture. It's kind of weird. I do think the um, picture quality is a lot better with or without the flash, um, even in low light, which is really nice um, and helpful for my Instagram pictures, my beauty pictures, that kind of thing, for both the front and back camera. Oh, that too. If you'll notice, the camera is finally on the top. I never understood why the camera wasn't on the top. My thinking is when you want it front and center. So now I guess that little sensor thing is on the side cameras up top. I do um, obviously have iOS 7. That is the one that is built in to the iPhone 5S's, which I really do like iOS 7. If you want to hear my thoughts on iOS 7 as well on this channel, um, thumbs up and let me know in a comment below and I'll definitely get that video out to you guys. I just didn't know if, you know, 
at this time. It's been a month since it's been out, so I figured maybe you don't want to hear so much about that. And this iPhone is 64 gigabytes, um, so it was kind of pricey. It was 400, and plus I got Apple Care, so it came out to 500 in tax, which is crazy. I know, but that's why again I sold my um, iPhone 4S because that was $210 towards it. That's very significant, um, and plus I've been saving for it. I had the 32 gig 4S, and I take way too many pictures and never delete them and then plus music and apps and everything so that's why I thought it would be worthwhile to invest in the 64 gig. That could also be making it faster because now it's bigger and it's not like all the room is being taken up um, so that could be a factor but overall I really really enjoy it um, I'll give you a little preview of what my home page looks like that's what my home page looks like if you're wondering, um, but if you want to see more in-depth view of it, please thumbs up this video and let me know if you'd really like to see an updated what's on my iPhone. And I'll definitely put that on my original makeup channel, Lauren Makeup, which if you're not subscribed already, please do, and that way you'll know when that video comes out. Last thing is I do have a case. This was, believe it or not, under $2 on Amazon.com from some random company in China. Um, and I really love it. It's the only case I have for it. I do have a, um, a workout band where you put the phone in and then put it around your bicep and so you can work out. I haven't used it yet though. I haven't even like taken it out. So, um, I don't know how well it works, but it's pink. But this is my only case and I really like it because now I'm not placing the aluminum part down on the counter surface so it's not getting scratched. I mean, yes, things can poke through, but I make sure that in my purse I, I don't put it like around other things. I put it in a separate pocket. Um, and I love that you can still see the gold because, I mean, why would you want to cover that up? I mean, I worked so hard to get this phone. I woke up at 3 a.m. because it's Eastern time on September 20th to order the gold one. And within 10 minutes, it went from 1 to 3 business days to 7 to 10. So that's why it took 3 weeks for me to get this in the mail. Um, but it was very worthwhile, and I'm very happy with it. Um, so I definitely don't want to cover up the color, at least for now. I really like it. But of course, you can see it on the trim as well. So that is my gold iPhone 64 gig 5S overview. Again, if you want to see those couple videos, let me know in the comments section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already for more random goodness on this channel, um, and then also my makeup channel as well if you're into that stuff. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.